You got today is a uh, Labor Day, and it's about 11:30 here. So I'm gonna try to make something I've never made before. Um, I just got the idea. I don't even have all the ingredients for this, so I'm just gonna have to kind of wing it and and hope for the best of it because I don't know how it's gonna turn out. So let me show you what I got here. I don't know if I need to use roll tail. I'll probably just use roll tail instead of canned tomatoes. It calls for stewed potatoes, canned stewed potatoes, but I don't have any. So that'll have to work or the canned potatoes, tomatoes, but I'll probably just use this uh, roll tail. I'm going to use some of this canned chicken. I'm going to kind of pull it apart. Mixed vegetables. And right here I've got some leftover brisket. So that's what I'm going to... That and a chicken is what I'm going to use for the meat. Now, for the sauces, I just have found this. Seen this in the refrigerator. And this is like a homemade sauce. I didn't make it. Somebody else made it. Got it from a, like a barbecue place. But this stuff is really, really good. So I may try to use some of that in with it. Um, got some minced onion, which I could probably use. I thought about sauteing some onions up, but I'm not. Got some mustard, and then this right here is just like uh, bullseye barbecue sauce. Got this from uh, from the church for a Father's Day gift um, a couple years ago. And I'm just going to cook it out here on the grill. So this is what I'm going to try to do. But I'm just going to be out here on my gas grill. Hopefully it, uh, it'll light up. barely and if you're looking at the flame I think I don't know I don't know what's wrong with it something ain't right though it shouldn't be that color but I'm using propane propane so okay let's get to cooking bring you over here gonna open up my canned chicken using my P51 I'm not gonna save that juice I'm just gonna drain it out what I'm gonna do here is dump the chicken in And I kind of break it up. And going ahead. Now I may need to go dry my hands because I got that chicken on there now and it is slick. this I'm just gonna pour the juice and everything in here okay I got the hotel here I'm gonna pour the juice and all in here Fire. They are calling for rain today. Here we go. Got that on the fire. So I'm, gonna, 
I'm gonna let that heat up for a little bit. Go ahead and put a little bit of mustard in it. Possibly of just a little bit catch up. We'll give that a stir. Oh, I forgot to put the other meat in there too. I need to go get some more water or something. Maybe should have kept that chicken juice put in there. Put in some of this minced onion. I'll go ahead and put that in right now. And I've done put in a little bit of this, but I need to take the top off. Put in a little bit more. Stir it up. taste. That ain't too bad. Put a little bit of that in there. This stuff is starting to Come to like a light boil. When you're doing this kind of stuff, you got you always got to taste it. Uh, just to say, I'm not going to be really eating it. I'm just going to be kind of tasting it to see, see how it tastes. Okay, I got some of this pink Himalayan salt, which is almost gone anyway. Put a, <laughs> put a lot of that in there. Um, I got some black pepper that you got to crack. But think about this is I got this one at Aldi, so and I've got some salt at Aldi with a grinder on it. I'm gonna say stay away from those because I don't know if it's just them or, or if I was doing it wrong, but. On both the salt and this one, it broke right here. I mean, this thing just broke. So this right here, I put some Gorilla Glue on it and taped it and stuff. So hopefully, it uh, it'll be okay. I'm going to try to let this cook down some and get a little bit thicker. Okay, I'm not going to put too much in here. I'm just going to eat a little bit out here. Then I'm going to take the rest of it in, feed my wife. Um, but I'm going to use my little dog bowl. Believe it or not, this is the first time I've used this to eat with. If you wonder why I call it a dog bowl, I don't know if you can see it. You see the little dog print right there. So yeah, I got this on sale for about like two or three dollars.
and it kind of reminded me of some of those that cost more than that so I don't have a whole bunch in here but I'm gonna take it over here to the table and I'm gonna eat a little bit then I'm gonna wrap the video up and take some to my wife okay here we go I'm gonna try this out let's see how this I don't know if this is an actual Brunswick stew, but that's what I'm going to call it. Try it out. Mm. That's actually pretty good. Um, tell you what I'm going to do though. Probably going to go there and put some more barbecue sauce in it, the sweet stuff. This is actually pretty good. Mm. Mm. Man, this is good. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna leave it like it is. Mm. Okay. That'll be it for this Bundook Stew edition. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Well, as always, thanks for watching.